Hey everybody and welcome to On My Bed The Show. As you see, we're not on our normal bed. We're in a hotel. Yeah. Happy Easter everybody. I don't have bunny ears, but whatever. Happy Easter. Anyway, the first segment as usual is Celebrity Birthdays. And this one kind of surprised me that William freaking Shatner, his birthday is today. But guess <laughs> how old this dude is. He's 77. I didn't believe it either because I had to look it up on IMDb because I wasn't sure if the site I have was correct. But dude is 77. I mean, he looks great. For 77. I mean, Jesus Christ, only like 57. That's why I didn't believe it. I had to look it up on a few sites, and they all said the first year, and he's only 77. Kind of weird, but I don't know. Maybe he's had a lot of Botox or something because the dude looks good for 77. Anyway, next birthday. Reese Gillen Spoon. Willow Spoon. Pointy Chin Lady. Yes, her birthday too. She is 30 freaking two. She's a year younger than me, but I think I look better, right? Thank you. <laughs> okay, next segment. People who are more popular than me. Which sadly still there's too many. Too many. Yeah. First story is pretty funny though. Remember Carrie Underwood from American Idol? Well, she's been dating this guy named Chase Crawford. I don't know what he's known for, but anyway, he's been out with JC, what's his name, Chazé, from uh, NSYNC. He's been, like, with him, like, really close. Like, maybe he's not into Carrie, he's into JC close. And I think it's so <laughs> So does he. <laughs> But anyway, that's a big story for me. I think it was pretty interesting. So anyway, have fun, you guys. And the next story, Adrian Curry may be pregnant. And we keep up with the show, My Fair Brady. So we really actually hope she is, because I can't wait to, wait to see the little guy. And they had this big fight on their show like a couple weeks ago. I remember when they were talking about the kids. Mm -hmm. And she wanted a boob job, so she got the boob job. And she's not supposed to be able to have kids once she has the boob job. But supposedly now she's pregnant, so I don't know what's going on. And I don't know if the saline and silicone and all that shit affects the baby. But anyway, I hope she is pregnant because I think they'll have a cute baby. And he's getting kind of old, so better hurry up anyway, Adrian, if you want a baby with a dude. Because he's like 50, isn't he? Yeah. So anyway, hope they are pregnant because it would be kind of neat. But... Anyway, I don't know about the saline, because she just got it done, like, about a few months ago. <laughs> so I don't know if it'll affect the baby. As long as the baby's not retarded, we hope you're pregnant. Yeah. Right? Okay. Next segment is... That's my opinion. <laughs> and this week I am doing my opinion on... Celebrity Fit Club is the new one, Celebrity Boot Camp. It's got a bunch of cool people in it this time. They brought my favorite screech, Justin Diamond, back. I'm excited about that because I really loved him on the last one. I disagree with everything. I agree with everything he has to say because, I mean, I don't know. He's cool and he's just like us. And I like screech. I like Justin. Yeah, and he's back, so... He's probably turned over a new leaf and all this stuff, and he's not going to be all crazy, but we kind of hope he is, because it's better that way. And there's a lot of cool people on it. The chick from Happy Days, Erin Moran, she's on there. Um, Tina Yellows is back. She was on a Celebrity Fit Club a while back. She's back, and she got knocked up and got fat again, so she had to come back. And uh, that crazy dude, oh my God, what is his freaking name? Willie Ames, that dude. You won't even recognize him. I thought it was Sammy Hagar, and so did he. The dude was so small. Look at anything he did on the last season. He looked completely different. So you got to watch it just to see how different he looked. And then, what is that bitch's name? Takara? Is that how you say it? Yeah, Takara. Anyway, she's still a bitch, so 
it's just good enough to watch just to hear her run her mouth and complain and get on everybody's nerves. But there's a lot of new people, a lot of old people. It's a good mixture, and I think uh, I think Screech is lying. He's gonna fuck it up again. I hope he does, cause it's too much fun. I like Dustin. Yay, Dustin! I hope you win, man. <laughs> All right, and the next segment, which is one of my favorites, is the Snazzy Awards. Yeah, the Snazzies. Our first category is reality show contestant with the biggest dick. And it is an unusual category, and that is an unusual one, but it's a category, and we have a winner. And the winner of the Snazzy is James from Big Brother. We saw it, dude. Showtime. Big Brother After Dark. Gotta watch that. It's on from midnight to 3 a.m. on Showtime. And that dude cracks me up. He's kind of weird, but it was kind of funny that we got to see his dick on Showtime. He just, like, stripped naked and started doing that swinging thing in between his legs. And the thing was huge, and he had just got out of the pool, and you know how fine so, you know, that one episode, how it shrinks when it's in the water? Well, if it shrinks when it's in the water, I can only imagine how big this is when it's not wet, because it is pretty big. <laughs> he says no comment on that one, but yeah, he wins the snazzy for that one. And um, the next category is Asshole of the Week, and that is going to you, Seal. And you know what, I really liked you for a long time, and I thought you were a great singer, and I think you really shit on TMZ. You really did. I mean, that was just messed up. I don't know what your problem was, if you're on medication, but for one, you're married to Hardy Klum. Be thankful and kiss the ground for that, dude. And for two, you're rich. And for three, you have all these fans that love you. But yet when a TMZ photographer comes up to you and says, Hey, Theo, what's up? I love your music. You're great. You look at him and say, Fuck you. You're a piece of shit. Get away from me. Get a life. Get a real job. What is your problem, Theo? I don't like you anymore. I mean, I still like your songs because I can't deny that. But you're, you're the asshole of the week. You're getting a snazzy. If I had two of these motherfuckers, I'd give it to you. Because you know what, Hardy? You need to put his ass in his place. Because that's fucked up. You never say shit. I saw the one in the airport when he got shitty with the photographer. Shove the dude down the damn stairs. That's what happened to do with his butt like, got hurt and shit. What is that for? It was his clothes that got trapped and his skin that he got ripped down. You know what I mean? He's just an asshole. And Hardy says nothing. She's just like, Tweet, 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 tweet. Feels my husband. Tweet, tweet. Yeah. Heidi, wake up! Okay, your husband's an asshole and he has no reason to be. The guy said he loved his music. It's not like he ran up to him and started some bullshit with him. He's just like, hey, Phil, what's up? How's your night? I love your music. And you say, fuck you, you're a piece of shit. You got problems, Phil, not TMZ. Because I love TMZ. Yeah, TMZ's the best. Fuck off, Phil. Anyway, next segment. What's the viewers' comments and questions? Which I'm about sick of because no one leaves a comment. Like I said on the last episode, leave me a comment, okay? The one who regularly is a big fan is Shane and Eric, and they always leave me a comment. So thank you guys for actually caring and taking the five seconds to type a sentence the rest of America doesn't do. But anyway... Thanks, Shane and Eric. You're my favorite, and you love us, and you always leave a comment every week. And I had another comment. What the hell was her name? I don't know. Sporty Shannon or something. But she just put okay and like two question marks. So I, I, I'm sorry, but I'm a little brain dead. I mean, I'm not that old, but what does okay and two question marks mean? That you think we're okay and you're not sure? Or I, I don't know. Is she retarded? Possibly, but anyway, if you think we're okay when you're not sure with the question marks, then watch again, because this episode's better than the last one. So, Sporty Shannon, watch this again and type a whole sentence. That would be better. Or even ask a question, because it's called Viewers, Questions, and Comments. 
You can ask me whatever you want. You can ask him whatever you want. You can comment whatever you want. Don't just put okay, question mark, question mark. But anyway, that's what I have to talk about tonight. But don't forget, every Sunday, we're here every Sunday night. So look for us. There'll be a new episode. And we'll be back in our bed. The one with his background. Because we love Gene Simmons. And Shannon. But we really love Gene. He's the rocker. But have a good night, everybody. Bye.